Well, how is it being back out there so far? Uh, feels great. Uh, weather's been awesome. D-line, then revamp. A lot of new faces on the D-line, but it's been fun, though, honestly. Tibbs has been grinding away at us. You guys know how Coach Tibbs is, so he's been grinding away at us. It's been, like, pretty good competition. Only for the first day of practice, it was a pretty good day of competition as well, so it's been nice. What's that been like, kind of going from being one of the new faces yeah. to, to seeing them kind of come in a little bit? Yeah, um, kind of crazy, you know, just, like I said, what, this time last year, I was... I was like one of the new faces, the new booties, if you would say so. It was just uh, kind of being here now and then like having the expectation of being a captain and, and then, you know, like fulfilling the role of a leader on the D-line, you know, not something that I'm afraid of, but you know, it's definitely like, whoa, like just this time last year, I was a new guy. Now I'm a captain or, you know, so it's just, it's definitely like, you know, it's a good thing though. It's a good thing though, for sure. Well, man, you mentioned the new guys who have joined you and obviously you got some talented players coming in. They're not just talented, they're huge. <laughs> How much does that affect your job and the other defensive ends to have guys like Tank and, and Mike yeah. in the middle? Tank, Mike, Uno, uh, Uno Jefferson. Um, still got Coy Roberson. Kevin Island's getting a little bigger. Mike Sanders is a little bigger, faster. So it's like, I think we're like six deep and we're getting about one or two more in the fall. It's like, for me as an end, it's like, I'm like I'm I'm in heaven every day when I come out. I see these guys, you know, it's like, whoa. Like, I look next to me, I have Tank, Mike, Coy. It's just like... You know, like it doesn't get no better than that. So just having those guys is gonna make my job easier. It's gonna make the linebackers' job easier. It's gonna it's gonna make the whole team's job a little bit easier. What was the plan that you and Coach Grizz had after the season to kind of, you know, I know you got a ton of off season mm -hmm. left, but what's kind of the plan for you to get ready for this last season? Um, well, obviously they want to hear my personal goals, and obviously that was to you know trim down a little bit, but still be in the 270, 275 range to be the bigger end that I am to get faster, stronger, a little twitchier. I kind of leaned out a little bit this spring. So, you know, that's been more of the goals. And then just trying to maintain, you know, shoulders, just keep my shoulders strong, just keep my, you know, just stay intact, honestly. Guys, next to you are a little different. Guys across from you are a little different. What's it like working with that offensive line that's a little Oh, man, uh, Savion, he's an athletic freak. PJ, he was here last year, but he's also an athletic freak. J.O. at center just makes our offense a little bit more athletic and more faster. So it's just having that just like just those five athletes on the O-line and I'm pretty sure once we get Logan back and Ben Sparks we'll be even more deep and then it's just having those guys like in the middle is just like they're so big fast and strong that it makes us better it's not like you know going against a slower tackle where you could you know kind of beat them with speed every play it's like no with Savion and PJ and those guys like speed power like you got to make sure that you're on you're on beat with those guys because they have quick hands quick feet quick set so it's just it's good for us too though during last season, some of the coaches talked about the chemistry you guys had on the defensive line. Yes, sir. Obviously, you and Junior came over together from Miami, mm -hmm. but Chapman and Levelston have been here for several years. Now those three guys are all gone. With all these new faces, how do you develop or accelerate the, the chemistry building within that group again this year? Um, I would say you try to rush it. You know, you just come out, have days like today where we grind, where we have the extra work. Like this morning, we. Started practice a little like hour earlier just as a D-line, just to get extra work. We do it every day, honestly. Every day, even on lift days, Monday, we'll come in early, get extra work. It's just having an extra time to steal those times, steal those reps as a D-line. And then outside of this, like D-line, like, we'll meet up. Let's go play the game at so-and-so's house. Let's go have a little manor tournament for a couple hours. Let's go go to Waffle House. Let's go eat real quick. So it's just doing those things as a group is going to form a, form a strong connection as a D-line. What you're gonna need down the road. What what's your message to the the guys that haven't played in the ACC before, and and how to navigate a season against you know teams that week in week out are gonna look pretty different than what you guys are you faced last year. Yes, sir. Um, you know, they will be a little bit bigger, faster, stronger. But I feel like as long as we are you know attacking the things that we know that we have to get right. Because I mean, honestly, up front, we're just as big and fast and strong. You know especially on the defensive line, as any other team who will face. So I don't think a size difference will be like a, a big shock for us. I think it'll just be honing down the technique, staying sharp, making sure that we're the best version of us and not really too worried about the other teams. I guess just what's it been like year two in the system, just this spring versus last spring, just how nice is it to have all of that experience yeah. uh, come into it for yeah. you? Um, it feels amazing, you know. 
like I said, I think, I believe this is like my first time playing in a defensive system for two years in a row. So it's just like, having that alone has just been great. Like, it feels like I don't really have to think out there no more. It's like, Simons and Tibbs, you know, they trust me enough to, you know, run the defense. And, you know, like, if I see something, I could, hey, Coach Tibbs, I think I saw this. So it's just having that leeway and that flexibility, I honestly feel like it's, it's going to make me a better player and it's going to help me learn more, grow more. And then it's going to help me teach other guys, like Abor, David Abiyar, Jaden Samuel. So it's just going to have me, you know, it opens up the doors for me and also the guys behind me. What was it like having some of your family out here today? It was great. <laughs> like you can see, my mom, she's a, she's such a big fan of me and I love her so much. My girlfriend's out here as well. So my pops, he'll be back for the spring game. So it'll be great to have everybody back up here. Yes, you sir. mentioned Abor. Uh, what are your early impressions of him and Harvey He's and great. the other new faces on the outside? We talked about the big guys in the middle. Yeah, uh, Abor, Harvey, of course, you know, I played with Harvey for three years in Miami, so I already know what he could do. I see the coaches get surprised almost every day with what he does and how fast he is and how explosive he is, but I already knew that, you know, he was going to bring that. But Abor, man, him, especially for a young guy, he's he's really, like, he's polished. You know, like, you could tell that he was coached well. He was He's very polished, so I expect him to come in and have an immediate impact this year as well. How much credit do you get for Harvey choosing us from you? Uh, you know, behind the scenes, man, I personally, I probably take a lot of credit, but it was on the uh, coaches and recruiting. <laughs> <laughs> it, was on, it was on all the coaches.